Sanders. A call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. Well, Justin Bieber and Ed Sheeran have decided to do a duet together, mainly throughout the entire song. Shireen is portrayed as a woman as they put his face on top of women's bodies, and he even is at the altar getting married to Justin Bieber. No one's surprised by that. And, of course, the song is filled with, or the video, I should say, is filled with all of the things that I always talk about. And what a surprise from two people I've exposed numerous times, especially Justin Bieber, from the owl tattoos, the all-seeing eye. Oh, right. But we're supposed to believe that he's a good old Christian boy, right? So let's do a little review of the music video, which is called I Don't Care, which in reality, I mean, you'd think a lot of people wouldn't care about Ed Sheeran and Justin Bieber. But if you look at the subscriber counts on these two and their net worth, it's pretty insanely disgusting. Now, what's the first thing you would think of when thinking of Ed Sheeran? Justin Bieber, or any musician who's making a music video, that's right. You guessed it. They absolutely, just like everyone else, love eyeballs. Ladies and gentlemen, they missed their chance. They missed their calling, just like Katy Perry, Kanye West, Beyonce, Lady Barfbag, Madonna. Every musician who's ever put out a song or a music video, they missed their calling as optometrists. And we're un- so upset about it. They wanted to let everyone know how much they love eyeballs in this video. So they're going to let you know. Because, you know, it's normal to randomly in a video just have eyeballs popping up all over the place. That makes perfect sense, right? Eyeballs in the sky. Eyeballs floating around behind a pool. Eyeballs here. Eyeballs there. There's no message there, right? But then you get, of course, eyeballs sitting next to stars in the sky. Oh, I mean pentagrams. Right? But you see how they subliminally do it? Because people will hear this and they'll go, this guy's overreacting. Oh, he's, he's they're talking about stars in the sky. But for those who understand how they operate, how they code this stuff, you can see how the pentagram is placed right next to the all-seeing eye. And what else do we see? Oh, my goodness, it's a lightning bolt. A lightning bolt, folks. Real original. Is he, is he paying homage to his hero, David Bowie, like Lady Gaga and everyone else? Or is he also a massive fan of thunderstorms? Do you think he moves to the Midwest in the summer to watch tornadoes and thunderstorms? Maybe he has a home in Washington, out in Seattle. Rains out there a lot, I hear. Do you think? Because it's always the same stuff over and over. For people who are considered artists, we're told they're artists and they're creative people. They sure use a lot of the same signs and symbols all the time. Now, there are some disturbing things in this video which I will show you, which you can, you know what I'm talking about and hinting about if you're a follower of the channel, which involve children. The same type of coding, subliminal coding we see all the time. Uh, they use food a lot, and they use different types of, you know, things like pizza to display this, and I'll get into that at the end. But I want to show you some, some of the other ridiculous stuff. So we got Justin Bieber and him by the pool. Of course, they've stacked the towels to be like a pyramid. Yes, I know you could say that's overreacting, but then we even get Justin Bieber running in front of the pyramids, right? So you get your little Egyptian worship, your Illuminati eyes, your pyramids, your lightning bolts, your pentagram stars, and what else do we get? Well, we get some guy by the pool who just happens to be wearing the checkerboard shorts, the black and white Masonic checkerboard shorts. I mean, sure, it's a coincidence, right? Not unless you watch the channel. Because they're wearing this in every single music video, so it must be the same exact designer picking out the clothes, costume, wardrobe person, right? And it's just so in right now. That's why the Kardashians' floor is black. This is because of Freemasonry, okay? If you're not familiar with Freemasonry, look into Freemasonry because there's a Freemason lodge in your town. This is where the low-level Freemasons are, are low-level Satanists are indoctrinated with Luciferian worship and Satanism and the occult. It's a secret society, Freemasonry. It's low-level secret society, but as they're initiated and they grow inside of it and go up the ladder, so to speak, they end up joining other secret societies and other cults and covens. So you see the black and white, and then, of course, you see the red and black, right? Now, the red and black checkerboard represents blood sacrifice. You'll see it a lot in music videos, especially of musicians who just recently knew someone or who was close to somebody who happened to die in some type of tragic accident? A cousin, a friend, a fellow musician. 
right? And in this specific case, it's pretty odd because they're showing this farmer in the black and white. And it, trust me, everything that's in here is deliberately there. Nothing is there by chance. This isn't, you know, the guy didn't show up on set and go, I'm a farmer and this is my farm. And this is an actor who showed up to play the farmer, clearly works for an agency out in California or wherever it was filmed, and they deliberately put this shirt on him. Deliberately, because everything in here is strategically done. That, that somebody that just randomly go, let's throw eyeballs and pyramids in there because we want to troll channels like a call for an uprising who have four hundred fifty thousand subscribers. Ooh, and we're worth billions of dollars and you know millions of views. No, they do this because they subliminally program people with occult messages. This is how they communicate with each other, and this is how they normalize their occult symbols into our world, into our reality. So. <laughs> You know, you got the, the ritual colors here with the, the blood ritual colors here with the red and the black, which is pretty creepy because the entire video, the most, the thing you see the most is Ed Shireen dressed up as a panda. Okay, this isn't because they love pandas. We saw this with Comet Ping Pong. We saw this and we've seen this now as people have started studying and looking into these weird, creepy people and their fascinations and it's not... You know, the fact that pizza and pandas are constantly used is not a coincidence. It's code word. Now, they could have changed the code word since these alleged events occurred, which I'm not getting into in any detail here. But pizza, which we see, because, of course, Justin Bieber and him, they sat down, they collaborated. They said, we're going to write this great song, man. And we're going to win an Emmy, or what is it called? A uh, Grammy. We're going to win a Grammy together. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the video is going to be like Thriller. You know, it's going to be memorable. We're going to have eyeballs and pizza slices, and you're going to dress up as a panda, and we're going to have lightning bolts in the sky, and did I say eyeballs? Oh, yeah, eyeballs again, and more pyramids, and lightning bolts, and Masonic colors, because this is going to be cool. Now, if these people were creative artists, they wouldn't be doing this stuff. They wouldn't be using the repetition, repetition, which is the key to mind control. It's laughable because it's so stupid that people can't see this. They think these people are creative because they're under mind control. They worship these people. These are the modern-day Egyptian gods. Everything has been inverted. This world is so perverse and corrupt that people can't even realize that they're under massive mind control. They've convinced everyone that they're making their own decisions, they're thinking freely, they're their own individual. They talk about individuality. You know why? To convince these people that they're not being programmed. And they don't see it. So with a panda, I can't get into detail about the panda. But most of you know, it has to do with... Let's just say punching in the face and leave it at that. And you could use your imagination. Actually, don't use your imagination. Okay? And it involves children. And it involves these things that a lot of us discuss, which we can't really talk about anymore on here. But you can use your imagination. Ed Shreen didn't come in and say, I want pandas all over the, the video. Pandas are so cool. Panda, panda, pandas. Pandas. You know, I covered a, a recent, maybe it was a year ago, award show, like the Nickelodeon Awards. Where pandas were just running rampant all over the place. You know, you think somebody was just like, pandas are cool. We love pandas. Let's bring in pandas. Just like the goats that I cover, right? They keep pushing goats. You know, the goat beer with Tom Brady. Oh, goat, the greatest of all time. Everybody's saying it. Goat here, goat yoga. Okay? This is all happening right in front of your faces. But people just, they're too egotistical and prideful to want to believe that this is going on. They think that they know all the answers and they're so smart about everything and these people are pulling the wool over their eyes. So, you see the panda and then look at flashes to what? It flashes to eyeballs and pizza slices. I mean, what do you think they're referencing here? Right? There's lots of music videos where they sexualize food, like they'll do you know, ice cream and they'll be rubbing it up their crotch and stuff like that. I've covered these videos and donuts and all this stuff. Now, I don't know exactly what code means what because you can only go off of some of the information that's out there which you can it's only a stretch but you can look for yourself and you can say well it's not a coincidence that you know look at all these people who are wearing pizza on their clothes who are instagramming pizza slices randomly the pizza museum you know it's a reference to it okay everybody loves pizza the food you know i'm italian i grew up eating pizza good pizza real pizza the food all the time and it's a shame i'd say pizza the food but i do and I never once wanted to buy a shirt with a slice on it or get a onesie with it or go to a museum that's dedicated to paintings of pizza that are sexualized. Okay? That's what this stuff stands for. Why do you think they're using the eyeball with the pizza? Because they're telling you who's doing these things. Who's right? This is how sigil magic works. 
and they're doing it to everyone. So Bieber and and I know people they are because like his name's not Shireen. Well, it's Shireen to me. Sharon, Sherry, don't care. Firecrotch, call him whatever you want. Okay, <laughs> not not you know. I love that. That's the thing that people take out. Like you mispronounce that guy's name. Do you ever think sometimes I deliberately do it? Because I just deliberately want to disrespect them and not call them by the right name. It's pretty disrespectful if you meet somebody and you say, hey, my name's so-and-so. You know, so my name's Doug. And they're like, the guy's like, oh, hey, Dave. You know, the guy's like, well, I said my name was Doug. And then he keeps doing it. Anyway, eyeballs, pyramids, lightning bolts, pentagrams, black and white Masonic colors, red and black, blood sacrifice colors. And then you get constant pandas, pizza, and just, you know, Ed Shireen dressing up as Justin Bieber's bride, gluing his face in a woman's body. I mean, this is just some weird, sick, perverse stuff where people will see it and they'll just be like, oh, it's cute and I love the song. This is some sick, perverse, occult, you know, symbolism that even I don't know what they're talking about here. Like, you know, maybe these two are secretly in a relationship, which wouldn't surprise anyone. You know, I know people question what sexes these people are. I don't tend to get into that. You know, sign my forte or cup of tea. But they're, they're telling you stuff here. You know, maybe they were involved in some type of ritual together. But it's the same signs and symbols all the time, folks. It's If you watch the channel or you're if you're new to the channel, go through some of the music video ones. Just the music video ones. And you'll see the same stuff. And that's how a lot of people who are subscribers have woken up. And they've stayed with the channel. Because they're like, oh, okay, here's Mariah Carey or Madonna. The next day, Katy Perry. The next day, Jay-Z. And they're like, yeah, I mean, this is getting weird. There's eyeballs, black and white floors, black and white checkerboard pants, pyramids, lightning bolts. It's the same symbols. And if you see it in repetition and pattern, your brain starts to unlock and you realize exactly what's going on because your brain hasn't been trained to pick these things up. So that's what I'm here to try to do is is look out for those things and point them out to you. Just a, a song called I Don't Care. And in reality, nobody should care about these losers. But sadly, the world does a sick sad pathetic world we live in folks let's try to break people from the indoctrination i thank you for listening to today's show god bless all of you and your families